Hey, this is Dan from School of Sheets. We build custom smart sheet solutions, and today I'm going to answer a question from the smart sheet community. So we have somebody here with a hierarchy-based sheet, and basically what you need to know is that each of the child rows here, which is everything under the office, it's going to get a score in the score column of one or zero. And the question is how to get the percentage of the children in the uh, parent row. So in other words, this person would like the parent row in the score column to show the percentage with respect to the sum of the children divided by the total number. So basically sum up all the one value in the child rows and then divide it by the total number, including the zeros. And importantly, this person wants to do this without having to enter a manual formula every time. So the goal for us here is to write a single formula that will adapt to the parent versus child rows to either display the percentage total or the individual one and zeros. And this is very possible, so we're gonna go ahead and do it. Alrighty, so I have reproduced the relevant parts of the sheet here for us to use. There's some very basic conditional formatting saying that if the correct incorrect product column is the value of incorrect, then make that column a dark red, just so we can see our incorrects a little bit easier. What we're going to need to do is make a big formula that's going to look at the hierarchy and look at these values and whatnot, but we're going to build it in a few levels so that you can kind of see it come to life. So the first thing we're going to do is start with these child rows here, and we're going to get a formula that will return one or zero based on correct, incorrect product being correct or incorrect. Lots of corrects. So we're going to start if correct, incorrect product at row equals correct, we're going to do a value of one. And if it has the literal text of correct, that's why it's in quotes, we're going to return a one. We can repeat this and we can do if incorrect, if correct, incorrect product at row equals incorrect, return a zero. And the reason I'm searching for both of these situations is to control for blanks, because what you're going to see is we're going to get a one and a zero populated in each of these cells. But since there is no selection here, we're not going to get a value here. And that's exactly what we want. Okay, so that part was pretty easy. The next thing we need to do is get our parent formula that's going to give us the sum of the children divided by the total number of the children. And I'll show you this in a couple of steps as well. So first one, very easy, equals sum children. This is literally taking the numerical mathematical sum of all the values in all of the children rows with respect to this parent. And I say mathematical sum because if any of the numbers increases, this value is going to reflect it. These are all ones and uh, zeros in this case, so it's pretty simple, but just keep that in mind. It's different than, it's not necessarily just counting them if it's a one, which would be a count if function. Now, one other thing I'm going to show you is um, how do we get the total number of children? And that would be rather than sum, if you use count, this we can see it quickly, equals count children. This is going to say count every single child row that has any value in it whatsoever. So keep in mind, any blanks would not figure into this. But since we only care about the child rows that have a correct or incorrect score here, this is exactly what we want. So we can actually, since we're getting values out of both some children and count children, we can do math with them. So we can do some children. Again, this is returning a numerical value. And then if we, gotta close that, divide it by count children, we're gonna get our, it's not formatted as a percent, but it, 0.75 is the decimal version of 75%. If you were to format this as a percent, it would search 75%. We're gonna worry about the formatting later. It's a little tricky. There is a way to get two different types of formatting in one column. Specifically, we want these to be numbers and um, the parents to be percentage. You can kind of do that, I'll show you how, but we need to close the loop on this combined formula first. Now the question becomes, how do we write the formula in a way where we will get this for the parents and this for the children. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a, we call this helper column a lot in the architecture world. It's basically a column that is in your sheet for the purpose of providing some type of information about a row, whatever that can be used in another, you know, perhaps another formula and some other data manipulation. It just, it exists there not to be looked at or interacted with, but to help you with some of the functions in your sheet. I'm going to call this children. And this only is going to exist to display the count of the children. We've seen this before in every single row. 
And the reason we need this is because we're going to use some if statements to evaluate whether or not a row is a child or a parent. And then based on that evaluation, we're going to apply either this for the parents, this formula for the parents, or this formula for the children. So the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to copy this because I'm going to paste it back in in a moment. The way this works is we start with an if statement and we're going to say if children is greater than zero, this is smart sheet think for if this is a parent row, and then we're going to paste in that formula that we just put in. So basically we're saying, hey, only apply this formula for any rows that have one or more children, you know, more than zero children. If I do this and turn it into a column formula, well, it's not going to work because now there's divide by zero because there's no uh, child values, but it's only applying in the parent rows. And that's stuff what we want to undo that. And now I think I already copied this. I'll copy it again. We're going to proceed building this by adding on our child part. So keep in mind, we have our if statement here, this right now, this is the value. If true, there is no value of false. So for our value of false, we're going to paste in the formula for the children because the logical expression of children at row being greater than zero is false. That means that in our case, it has to be a value of zero, meaning it is a child row. So to leave that last parenthesis, put our comma in, and now we're in the value of false section and we're going to get our child formula here. And so again, what this is all saying is first look at the value in the children column. If it's more than zero, apply the parent function of summing up the children and dividing by the count to get a number. If that's not true, meaning if children at row is not greater than zero, in our case equal to zero, we're going to go ahead and apply the child formula to get the one or zero value based on the correct incorrect product score. We paste that in there. Once I turn this into a column formula, nothing has changed except we've actually got in a value here. I did a couple other um, offices. So now we have, for the most part, what we want. Let's clean this up a little bit. I'm just going to add a little conditional formatting. So if children, I'm going to make the uh, parent rows get some nicer formatting. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. We can hide this. These helper columns tend to get hidden in the real world. The last goal is to make this be a percent and to make these stay as numbers. Normally you have to pick, right? So I could make this all a percent and then these would, you know, be 100% or I can make it all um, not a percent, but these are gonna be as decimals. What I'm gonna do here and just be aware of what's happening because this is not going to be appropriate for all circumstances. I'm gonna turn this 0.75 into a text value and I'm gonna add a percent sign after it. So it will look like a percent, but in reality, it will be a text value. And the implication of that is you will not be able to perform any mathematical operations on it. So just to demonstrate this, um, I'm going to pull out the parent formula just so it doesn't get a little um, you know, too confusing. Actually, I'm going to do it um, for this one here because this is going to be a little more helpful to see, I think. First, I'm going to round this to two decimal places just so we get some consistency. You can do whatever you like, but um, if you don't do this, you might get as many as five, six, seven, eight decimal places. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply it by 100. And if you do that, now we get 64. It was 0.64. This is the percent. And I'm going to add a percent sign. And this is going to be like this plus here. This is both for doing math, but it's also for putting together text. And as soon as you get a anything in quotes, even if it's blank, you're going to be treating this data as a text value now. So this is going to give us 64%. And notice how it moved to the left. That's because the default alignment for numbers is to the right and for text is to the left. So I'd actually align this to the right as well. So if I was to, again, we got to find the big formula. So we find this, we do round. We put our decimal there times 100 plus percent. If we apply this to the entire column, now whenever we do a new, you know, a new row, so we can do office five here, a new parent row that is. Since this has taken hierarchy, it's automatically applying the formula. Divide by zero error is because the children have no data to work with. So it's literally dividing by zero. As soon as you put a value in, it comes in here. 
However, that begs the question to really tie bone this, how do we get rid of this error? We are going to put an if error around all of this. It's really easy to add an if error after the fact because you just put it at the start, you go to the very end, you put your comma, and then whatever you want the error value to be, you type it in here, or you could just do an empty string if you don't want it to say anything. But I'm, I am a fan of putting something in there, so there's the visual feedback that I've formula exists. We have one formula that applies a percentage score based of the children for the parents. It also looks at the child row and does a one or zero value based on some other data. And it displays percent formatting for the parents and number formatting for the children. Just again, keep in mind that you could run into issues if you are trying to do some type of math. For example, you know, if you do one minus this, it's going to give you an invalid operation because it is invalid. This is no longer a percent, it is actually text. So if we were to, just so you can see, get rid of these portions, get rid of this guy. Now this is working in a mathematical way because this is considered a number. Anyhow, that's the end of this video. I hope it was helpful. If you did enjoy the video, please like it and consider subscribing for more Smartsheet tutorial videos. If you have any questions or comments about this video or anything Smartsheet related, please leave a comment and maybe I'll make a video for you. Lastly, here at School of Sheets, we are a Smartsheet Align consulting partner. If you have any questions about Smartsheet and are looking for some professional assistance, we do system design from the ground up, system auditing, modifications to existing systems, adding premium apps, the whole nine yards. So there's a link in the description box. You can send an inquiry and schedule a 30 minute call with yours truly. We can talk about your project, no obligation. And if it's a good fit, we'll be able to help you with your system. So other than that, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.